we should have this today. That style. Okay, call to order. <laughs> it's a uh, six o three. That's okay. Roll call. Direct Daniels. Yes, I'm here. Vice President Jaffe. Present. President Jensen. Director LeHue. Director Lather. Present, and I have my mic on. Thank you. Okay, so uh, there's no public hearing today. Uh, this is the opportunity to pull items from the consent agenda. agenda which, is there anyone here? Nothing for me. Okay, then uh, can we have a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. I mean, you mean the consent agenda? The consent agenda. The entire consent agenda, yes. Second. Okay, and I, just one comment on the um, reports. Um, like, just if there's a way to still highlight what's new, because some of the stuff on some of the reports was clearly old because it's been anticipated in April and stuff like that. So like I read through kind of going, well, I think I read that before. <laughs> you know? So that's the ma management report you're referring to part. I, you know, there's different, there was like engineering and operations, and, you know, yeah. um, just, just to double check, make sure we like highlight what's new and, and not leave old stuff on there. That's all. Well, actually, I had a question. I forgot to get to. That's what the March Uh, there is no water being. It was an export. Yeah, export, and that was to help them uh, with when they had a, a pipe out. Did we import some water though? The, the, not in March. Yeah. Oh. Remind me. All right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. And President Christensen. I just want to remind everybody to put their mic on when they're up there. I think um, we just got to, okay. I think somebody just let us know it's hard to hear. But. It's, also, yeah, I can't. it's also important to speak really close to the mic. I think it's supposed to Is be that why you're doing that. that. All right. Uh, oral and written communications. I'm not aware of any written ones, but anything to share? Anything to share? Okay, there's no one here, but, and we're not on Zoom yet. Oh, or do we have anyone? Not we do not have any public attendees on Zoom at this point. Oh, we're wait. not. Hold we it. haven't rolled that part out yet. Okay, <laughs> item reports, reports uh, with district council. Hey. Um, uh, good evening, board. Uh, it's nice to see you um, uh, virtually, and um, I'll be at the next board meeting in person. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone then. Um, just a really brief update um, for me this evening. Um, uh, the state advocate that we work with uh, forwarded to, to Ron and the management team and myself as well, kind of an update um, on uh, uh, some of the things that are going on at the state level from a, a regulatory perspective, um, and the uh, state um, uh, is DWR is putting together their community um, uh, water um, uh, policy workbook, um, and that um, is normally sort of a you know pretty pretty straightforward document. Um, it looks like this version may start diving into some recommendations for governance um, for for local water districts, which is an area that the state historically has not really gotten into. Um, and that raises some some interesting jurisdictional issues as also potential some issues related to local control. Um, so it's something we'll be looking at um, pretty closely and, and providing updates to the board as appropriate going forward. I'm happy to answer any questions on that. Thank you. Anyone? 
Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Uh, administrative business. Uh, there are no conditional or unconditional will to serve, so we'll move to a resolution honoring Public Service Recognition Week. Good evening, board. President Christensen, um, this is Tracy Hart, Human Resources Manager, and I get the honor to um, present this item, um, honoring Public Service Recognition Week, which took place last week, May 7th through the 13th. Um, last week marked the 30th, excuse me, 38th year of nationally celebrating Public Service Recognition Week, and it's an annual recognition to officially um, uh, take time to honor staff who serve the, um, and, and uh, you know, do the hard work of federal, state, county, local government, or special district employers, uh, employees throughout the nation. Um, so we do have a, a resolution that we'd like um, the board um, to honor tonight. If you'd like me to read that, uh, President Christensen, I'm happy to do so, or you can um, uh, do that yourself, or maybe one of the other board members might want to. Well, I guess it's fairly short. I can do it. I've had trouble with my voice today. I'm happy to do it if you'd like me to. Okay, go ahead. It's your, it's your resolution. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So resolution number 23-07 is a resolution of the Board of Directors of the Soquel Creek Water District honoring Public Service Recognition Week, which is May 7th through the 13th of 2023, in honor of the millions of public employees at the federal, state, county, city, and special district levels. Whereas Americans are served every single day by public servants at the federal, state, county, city, and special district levels, these unsung heroes do the work that keep our nation working. Their tireless efforts were especially critical during the COVID-19 pandemic. Whereas public employees take not only jobs, but oaths. Whereas public servants include water system professionals, teachers, doctors, and scientists, and countless other occupations. Day in and day out, they provide the diverse services demanded by the American people of their government with efficiency and integrity. And whereas, without these public servants at every level, continuity would be impossible in a democracy that regularly challenges its leaders and elected officials. Therefore, the Board of Directors of the Soquel Creek Water District do hereby announce and proclaim to all citizens and set seal here too that May 7th through the 13th, 2023 is Public Service Recognition Week. All citizens are encouraged to recognize the accomplishments and contributions of government employees at all levels, federal, state, county, city, and special district. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are there any comments from the public? Any comments, any further comments from the board? Great. Then we move on to a voice vote. Yeah. You had something? I just was going to move approval. Okay. Vote approval. I second it. Um, Director Daniels. Yes. Vice President Chaffee. Yes. Director Liu. Yes. Director Weaver. Yes. And President Christensen. Yes. Thanks for. Didn't know. Didn't know it was coming up. <laughs> well, usually we do it the week of or the week before, and it, because of the way the calendar fell, the the, the placeholder um, we did it the week after. But we still honored our um, employees last week, and if you checked social media, we had some really fantastic posts of uh, various employees in the district um, celebrating um, their their public service to our community. So, thanks to our outreach team for putting that together. Thank you. Okay, uh, that takes care of our uh, our open meeting business, and we will move on to closed session. Uh, if anyone from the public would like to comment on the co closed session right now, this is the time. Then the public meeting is adjourned until after the meeting, after the closed session.